Hey everyone, in this video I want to show two different ways in which you can get started with the Microsoft Bot Framework. So the first one here is uh, we can use this Visual Studio extension which has uh, some Bot Framework templates that you can use. So you just download this and install it and when you go to Visual Studio when you create a new project uh, it'll be listed here on our bot application. So you, just, you can create that and then it actually it builds up everything for you and you can go ahead and just start running it so there you can tell it's running and we can use the bot emulator to test it out here and we can create a new uh, I'll just say templates and the endpoint URL is we'll we'll take this the host name here and then it needs to be slash API slash messages and you don't have to worry about any of this other stuff so save and connect and we'll save it there we go it's like a connected and we can uh, test it real quick there we go and so it returned us a response so we know so we can tell it's working so that's real that's an easy way to get started locally but what you can also do is you can go to your Azure portal and create a new resource and so bot and do web app bot here and do create and give it some names and do test bot Here we go. Give it a unique name here and give it a subscription. And you can give it resource group, location, pricing tier. Uh, there is actually a free version here that you can use. Uh, so if you're testing them out, it's definitely great to have when, when you're building up your bot because there's not you're gonna have that ten thousand uh, messages there. And here you can use a bot template and right now we're in version 4 and currently they have C Sharp and Node and you can do Python I think Java as well but they're, they're in preview so they're not listed here uh, and so we can do either EchoBot and that's, that's the template that we used uh, before when we created from Visual Studio and we just do basic bot and just do uh, EchoBot so we have had before and you can hook up uh, some other stuff like um, language understanding and Q&A to have some intelligence within your bot. Click OK. Uh, app service. Uh, since it's going to be on the web, we need to create an app service. So I'll just click OK. And we need to give, uh, actually I'll auto-create the app ID and password. click OK, click Create, and we'll let this deploy for a minute. Alright, so it's done. You can go to the resource. And actually, within the jury here, we can test within the web chat here. So it actually loads up our bot into kind of a chat interface. There we go, and we can type to it. Make sure it works if we need to. There we go. So it kind of echoed to us. Not exactly the same as what the, the template gave us, but uh, kind of similar. So what if we want to update this? Because this by itself isn't very helpful. You can click build here. And then we go, we can download the source code. There we go, we're going to click to download. There we go. Before I do that, uh, you can actually make some changes online. If you have something real quick, you can click to open uh, an online code editor. There we go, and opens kind of a, 
uh, a cloud version of Visual Studio Code here. And let's see, what do I want to change? So I'll change this here. Hit on welcome to the bot. There we go, it automatically saves here. And what I can do, open the console and I can run, run the build that command method here. All right, so that finished. And what we can do is go back to test and web chat. So it's gonna load up again. There we go. Let's see if it works and we'll input something. There we go. So it said, uh, all right, uh, to the bot edits were added there. So that, we'll look at our uh, download the source code here and we'll extract it. And we'll launch the solution here. You know, so we have everything here. And so we'll make another edit. And it won't have our previous edit because we downloaded it before we made it. So instead of hello and welcome, I'll just do hello there. There we go. And we can run this. There we go. And this is much nicer <laughs> than what we got from that template. Uh, and it gives us the URL to use too. And we can go back to our emulator here, do a new configuration, do a Jurbot, paste in that, and see if it works here. Do hum. Unauthorized. Because it's unauthorized, you need to give it that um, app ID and password. So what we can do is configuration. So here, this app ID and password. And just click Advanced Edit to do that. And here's our ID. Uh, let's see. Edit configuration. And then the app password. Send that there. We'll save it. Now we'll restart. There we go, it's like it's there. And so our changes are there. So, and this just happens before, well, right when we connect it, it gives it to us. Um, and then what we can do, uh, exit out of here, to deploy it back, all we gotta do is click publish. So it already has our published profile here, and we just click publish. You see it's asking us for a username and password, and, and it's not clear what password it is. So what you actually do is, and back in your Azure portal, uh, in the web app bot, I can go to overview, I go to the resource group, and I go to the app service. And you see get published profile, you click that, and that'll download, open it, and then somewhere in here, you'll see, there it is, the user password. So you take that, and then put that in here, and that'll allow it to deploy. And then it launches uh, the browser for the, the web app that the bot is hosted on. And actually, once this is loaded, we can test it in. There we go. It, it still says localhost, but you have to use uh, this uh, the host name up here. So do new configuration. 
here deploy. And then I'm going to use the same app ID and password. So I'll go back to my bot here. There we go. And we got that hello there that we got before. So there you go. And you know, if I had to choose between doing uh, starting with the Visual Studio template or the starting with Azure, I would definitely start with Azure because you probably noticed that it was much easier uh, to get started with that. And when you create it within Azure, it kind of hooks up everything for you. So I hope that helps. And